plain, plain pearl, and done! Wow, what a supercharged knitting workout! <laughs> this is for you, Cosmo! <laughs> Thank you, Dad, it's beautiful! I knitted jumpers for everyone! Sol, <laughs> Gil, and for Mum! Just how big do you think I am? Oh, silly me! This one is for Lifter. There. <laughs> and Mum. But Dad, you haven't got a jumper. That's why I'm teaching you to knit, Cosmo. You can knit me a jumper. <laughs> Dad, thank you so much for our lovely jumpers. Now, if you've finished knitting, I have a mission for you. <gasps> Where are we going? Where are we going? To planet Venus. Venus! Oh, oh, oh! Wear your new jumpers. We can show them off to everyone on Venus. But, Dad, there's nobody there to show them off to. Oh, never mind. Wear them anyway, because you all love them so much, right? <laughs> Let's find out about Venus! <laughs> Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Venus. So pay attention. This is the solar system. And these are the planets. This one is called Venus. Venus is yellow. Venus is about the same size as Earth, where everyone watching today lives. Venus is incredibly hot. The hottest planet in the solar system. So remember, Venus is a yellow planet same size as Earth, and it's incredibly hot. Could you please help me remember that? <laughs> Venus is a yellow planet, same size as Earth, and it's incredibly hot. Thanks, Cosmo out. When you get to Venus, scan its cloudy atmosphere. I want to find out exactly what's in those clouds. Scan the clouds. Got it. Gil and Lifter will bring special scanning equipment to help you. Take Sol along too. Cosmo, bring your knitting. You have to knit me a jumper, remember? I'll try, Dad. Begin launch sequence. Venus, Venus, a planet you should meet. Plain, plain pearl. I have seven million knitting patterns on file if you'd like to see them. Wow! Yes, please! Accessing knitting patterns. Error, hard drive full. No problem, I'll just delete some files to make space. Deleting. There we go. Oh no, don't delete, don't delete. Oh. What's wrong, Gil? Deleted my planet files. Even Venus? Gone. All I've got left are my heat sensors. Will you help me find Venus? Great! We can't see the proper colours. All we can see is how hot or cold the planets are. This planet is very hot. This planet is just warm. And this planet here is cold. Is Venus hot, warm or cold? <laughs> Venus is hot! That's right! Venus is a yellow planet, same size 
size as Earth, and it's incredibly hot. Let's go, Dad. Switching to autopilot. I have some knitting patterns to look at. Venus. Phew! It's too hot for woolly jumpers on Venus. You're not wrong there, dearie. We really should take them off. Take off your jumpers? Don't you like the jumpers I knitted for you? Oh, you don't like them, do you? You can tell me. We love the jumpers, Dad. It's just that... Oh, that's a relief. I thought maybe you wouldn't wear them. But you do like them, right? All of you? Yes. Yes. Of course, Petal. Jumper! Fantastic! Now, come on, we have to scan these clouds. It's so hot, but Dad will be upset if we don't wear our jumpers. <laughs> I'm feeling a little out of sorts. Temperatures exceeding safe levels. Oh, you are a sorry lot. Still, look how lovely you all look in your woolly jumpers. Makes me proud. Come on. I too hot. Yes, I think I am too. Oh, oh dear, I'm overheating. Uh, shutting down. Clear the way, dearies. Clear the way? Oh, clear the way! <laughs> not. You just don't like my jumpers. <laughs> oh, that's better. But we have to show Dad just how hot it is in these jumpers. I know, he can wear one and he'll feel just how hot it is. But which jumper would fit Dad? Small, medium or big? This big one. The jumper I was knitting for Dad. But it's not finished. Plain? Um, no, that's not right. Pearl? Oh, I can't remember. I can't do it. You can do it. You can do anything, Cosmo. Really? Of course! Really? I can do it! That's right! Do you remember the stitches? Plain, plain, pearl. That's it. Say it with me. Plain, plain, pearl. Plain, plain, pearl. Plain, plain, pearl. Plain, plain, pearl. <laughs> it's finished. Thank you. Dad, this jumper is for you. It's beautiful. I'm going to wear it right now and show you all that it's not too hot for woolly jumpers on Venus. See, it's fine. Just a bit hot. Why is it so hot? Must wear jumper. Must wear. Oh, I can't do it. It's too hot. It's so hot. So hot. Ah! 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, help me get these jumpers off Lifter and Gill. Welcome to Gill 5000. A bit better. Stay away from me, hot jumper. Don't make me hot. <laughs> Don't worry, Dad. The jumper can't make you hot if you're not wearing it. It can't. Jumpers work by keeping heat in. You warm up and the heat stays in, keeping you toasty warm. Now, come on. We still have to measure the clouds. <sighs> so, why am I still hot? Because Venus is the hottest planet. Oh. Why? Hmm. Beginning atmospheric cloud scan. Thick cloud layers. Very thick clouds. Thick clouds. It's like a woolly jumper. Venus wears a woolly jumper? <laughs> no, Dad. It works like a jumper. Venus is so hot because its thick atmosphere keeps the 
overheated. Hey, that's something amazing to tell your friends. Venus is so hot because its thick atmosphere keeps the heat in. See? Super amazing! <laughs> yes. Then let's go home! Begin the home sequence! Data now. Wow, perfect. Well done. Mission complete. You know what? I'm not going to knit anything that will make us too hot ever again. I'm going to keep everyone cool instead. How will you do that, Dad? I'm going to knit everyone woolly t-shirts and woolly shorts. <laughs> Getting moon rocks, best at finding rocks, picking rocks up, holding rocks, looking at rocks. <laughs> Mom, we brought rocks for your experiment. Well done, Cosmo. Now. Activating core B. Please stand by. <laughs> Sister Mera. What's wrong, Mum? Jules had a very nasty crash. I better contact Mission Control. It's okay. I'm feeling much better now. Yeah. Warning. Dumping core memory. No, you're right. Better tell Mission Control. Mission Control is sending out a technician, but it could be a while. Oh? That's the end of my experiment until Gil's fixed. I am sorry. So unlike me. I am a supercomputer, you know. So... What do we do now? We wait, I suppose. Hmm. If you have no work to do, we could go on holiday! Holiday? I love holidays! That's a great idea! Holiday! <laughs> but where are we going? Where are we going? you through now. Hello, Cosmo. Kian here. This astronomer is going to tell us all about the planet Venus. So pay attention. This is the solar system. And these are the planets. This one is called Venus. Venus is yellow. Venus is about the same size as Earth, where everyone watching today lives. 
Venus is incredibly hot. The hottest planet in the solar system. So remember, Venus is a yellow planet, same size as Earth, and it's incredibly hot. Could you please help me remember that? <coughs> Venus is a yellow planet, same size as Earth, and it's incredibly hot. Thanks, Cosmo out. Where's Dad? Oh, oh, oh. The other six suitcases are already on the ship. Then we're all ready for a holiday. Begin launch sequence. Still feeling a bit funny. I think I'm lost. Don't worry, I'll find Venus. I'm the best pilot there is. You haven't got the best sense of direction. I have a great sense of direction. Oh, you're that way. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Will you help me find Venus? Great! One of these planets is Venus. Each is a different colour. Is Venus the orange planet? This yellow planet? Or the blue planet? Yellow! That's right! Yellow! This must be Venus! Venus is a yellow planet, same size as Earth, and it's very hot. That's Venus, Dad! Holidays, here we come! Venus is the best place for a holiday. Well, you weren't sure my custard and cucumber sandwich would work either, remember? We'll have a great holiday. That's right, Dad. Best holiday ever. Oh. Oh. It's hot. Phew. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system. A sun holiday? No problem. Let's check into our hotel. Dad, there are no hotels on Venus. That's a bit shoddy. Well, then, we'll have a camping holiday. Let's see, camping, that suitcase five and six. I've never been camping before. Will we stay in a tent? Oh, yes, I have it right here. We'll roast marshmallows, tell stories. Oh, and look. A map. Is it a real map? You bet. I drew it myself. Come on, everyone. We're going. <laughs> Lucky I did extra squats in the gym. I've never been so fit. I was planning on getting fit next week. Almost there, Cosmo! Let's see. I think it's that way, but I can't tell what this part of the map is. That's a drawing of what a dog would look like if it did ballet. That's a tutu. Not important. Well, then, we're almost there. I can't wait to roast marshmallows. Marshmallows, please. <laughs> Soon, Sol. It's too hot for us out here. Hm. It's getting windy, too. Not just windy, stormy. It's raining. Don't worry. I came prepared. My favourite umbrella! My map! This is acid rain! Not good! Cosmo and Sol are built for this weather, but Dad! We need to get out of this acid rain! But where? Could you please help us find somewhere to take shelter from the acid rain? Look for shelter! Come 
covered in cracks. My little feet will fall through. To get running, even you, Mum. I think Mum was right. Venus isn't a good place for a holiday at all. It has terrible weather with acid rain. Hey, that's something amazing to tell your friends. Planet Venus has terrible weather with acid rain. Mallows. We'll have marshmallows just as soon as Dad sets up the tent. Oh. What's wrong, Dad? No tent. This is the wrong suitcase. This is my rubber duck case. <laughs> the tent must be in that other one. I'll get it. But what about the acid rain? Don't worry. I'm built to withstand any planetary conditions. Oh, <laughs> but the ground is full of cracks. I don't think I can do it. You can do anything, Cosmo. Really? Of course! Really? I can do it! That's right! I know! I just won't step on the cracks! Uh, 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 I'm almost at the suitcase! Uh, now, to bring it back! Uh, 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 uh. You did it, Cosmo! It's a problem. It's quite nice out here, actually. I'll just stay here. <laughs> <laughs> mallows, my mallows! <laughs> what a day. I know. Isn't this the best holiday ever? Not quite, but close. <laughs> I'm hugging you all right now. Oh, the acid rain is stopping. Come on. I think I need to go home. Begin launch sequence. Computer's all fixed. Picked up a fault in the AE35 unit. Just take a moment to reboot and Bob's your uncle. Welcome to Gil 5000 for all your supercomputing needs. Oh, hello. I feel much better. The experiment. Shall we get back to it? Busy, busy, busy. I am busy, Gil. Busy relaxing. And after that holiday, I'll be busy relaxing for quite some time. <laughs> Among the stars.